pleasure. Please welcome Leanna Lair Polaro <laughs> with us today on our Mother's Day special. Looking so proper. Look at you and pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Now we know that you're a very busy mom as well. You've got Nolan and Everett. I just we got to see a picture of them. These two are so They're incredible. They're growing so fast. They're growing so fast. One an incredibly talented artist. He, Nolan. Oh Nolan my gosh. is the artist. He really is. Like I've seen some of his pieces, and I'm kind of floored and jealous. That's okay. You know, We're, you look at your kids, and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Seriously, <laughs> your kid made that. It's well, amazing. It, it's been since he was really, really little yeah. that when people ask, what do you want to be when you? grow up not the typical firefighter policeman he said I want to be an artist Wow! and he's still going with it so we're trying to foster that in him okay I just got to get my son off an excavator <laughs> it's all about construction that's the with younger him. one that's oh, my younger yeah. one. Oh yeah okay so let's talk about our tea party Welcome we now to have my our tea lovely party. sandwiches and we yes. have our tea yes so now we've got to sit down and have our meal this looks to absolutely have a gorgeous tea. well you know I've had a tradition with my mom for years of going out for high tea on yeah. Mother's Day but it gets really busy on the actual day of Mother's Day it's to book reservations zoo. so this year I've decided to host my own high tea for not only my mom but my girlfriends so nice. the trick with this is you wake up you enjoy your family in the morning get the kids and the hubby packed up after lunch and send them to the park because it's Mother's Day and you're the, allowed. You're allowed and yeah. you want to have a little bit of time for you, have a little bit of fun fussing with the table, just a little bit of fussing, and right. then invite your girlfriends over. Okay. So when you're going to be hosting your tea party, the first thing is we need proper attire for the tea party. Yes, we do. So we need to encourage our guests to come in their party frocks, maybe yes. a little floral um, outfit from for spring, and have some proper gloves. Now, not many of them will probably have gloves available. I went to a party store and got these for about five dollars. Awesome. And if you notice, in the front of my table, I've actually just tucked them underneath the napkin so they can be a little favor for your guests as well. Oh, so you nice. can have them ready to go. Oh, that's it's a little really inexpensive nice. favor. And then, of course, we wouldn't really be at a true tea party unless we had hats. You have yours oh, do I right get over a hat? there. You absolutely do. Oh, so now I'm ready wear. for my tea. And these came from the dollar store. You're kidding they me. They were two dollars each. Yes. Your dollar store is the. Oh, I like mine. <laughs> Dollarama. That's great. I know, kind of cute, right? So now we're ready to have our tea party. Okay, so, so now we've got uh, you've got the place settings here, which have not been put out. Now, have you used plates that you already had in your cupboard? Did you go out and buy new ones? I have a mix. You've got so a mix. So I've got a mix of my classic white yeah. china. So and that's my daily, my daily that I have. Yeah. Um, I picked up some great little floral ones. I'll show you this sweet floral one uh, from IKEA. Oh, beautiful. And IKEA has such an amazing collection right now of vintage rose floral pieces in everything not just plates they have canisters they've got trays so for an inexpensive um, little investment there you yeah. can really set off your tea party perfectly with that kind of floral touch but then you'll Very notice nice. I did mix in some vintage china these were all cups from my grandmother and I love tying in I'm um, kind of a sentimental heirloom element to the table especially when my mom's coming over as well right. she she'll recognize every single one of them and you notice in each of the cups I've got a little diffuser so everyone gets their own with their little name tag tied on there. So that becomes a little place card holder. I think that this is a fantastic idea. Cute and inexpensive. These were about $2 at Ikea as well. $3 for each of the diffusers. Really so nice. So nice little simple touches for the table. The other thing that I did, a lot of people have tablecloths, a white tablecloth, yep. um, which is perfect. We want to have it a little bit more elegant for our tea party. Mm -hmm. But my pink runner, runners and tablecloths can be expensive, an investment. These were two IKEA curtain panels that I oh, found in pink so and I just used the iron to tuck them underneath and they became my two table runners so they just give that nice little fresh feminine touch to the table. Beautiful. Really Be creative. Way. That's what yeah, it's all about. It's not about breaking the bank. The now the other thing is the cushions here. So you wouldn't necessarily uh, find these big cushions you would use at a table. Every day. Why not put them well, out there you know what? For they're comfortable guests. and again um, a nice little touch. A lot of us buy pillows to change yeah. up our accessories within the right. home, bring in a little floral touch as well. So once we have the table set, there's one more thing to add in, and that's having a little tea buffet, I like Ooh, to call it. Oh, I like this part of the buffet. <laughs> the there's goodies on, on one here. end. Traditionally, yeah. you would actually put that in the center, but I actually like the idea of as the host, you can walk around and serve your guests at the table, make it a little bit more formal. Nice. Now, tea bags are a no-no 
at a party. We don't put tea bags in the cup. Tea bags, if we were to use them, would go in the pot and we Got would it. serve kind of a, a house blend, so one traditional type of tea. Yeah. But I love the idea. There's so many other great teas out there right now. Since everyone has a diffuser <laughs> yeah. at their t at their play setting, they can come and try their own tea on, from the tea buffet, and then you just have a secondary pot with hot water, so they oh, can give that a try. Smart. And yes. let me tell you, you can't smell this. These the smell. smell amazing. I know. We're going to talk about those later from the David's red, tea. The red velvet cake. It's like eating it the red velvet cake. It tastes like red it's velvet incredible. cake. It's incredible. Well, uh, we also have to mention these beautiful flowers. The flowers right? are that's absolutely part of stunning. It. From, that's part um, of the whole look. The Loblaws did an incredible look. And look at this, like even in the little teapot. How oh, perfect cute. is that for the centerpiece? 